Thank you for downloading and thank you for watching. Welcome back to Rob's Feed Today. This is episode number 66. And I'm, I'm Rob Shendo. It is about 26 hours since I last spoke to you. That's actually sitting down here talking. I don't know when you're actually watching it. But it's not been fun. I have in my studio here this microphone that I'm speaking into now. That's a very expensive broadcast quality microphone. Some of you know, know already know this. And maybe you're not that interested in all the technical geek crap of it. But I'm sorry. This was really traumatic. This is a Howl PF40 microphone. That's a broadcast quality. Radio stations use it. People you know have used, used it. People you may listen to. You ever listen to Leo Laporte or Cliff Ravenscraft? Their tech podcast. Ever hear of somebody by the name of Rush Limbaugh? I understand they all have this same microphone that I have. And it's on a boom. And the boom, you move the thing. I just hit it, I'm sorry. You move it in, out of the way. And you can move it around. If you have to move around. It's a dynamic mic. It should speak right into a shotgun. <laughs> what happened, though? It's, on, it's, it's attached to the desk by virtue of a C-clamp. Well, I didn't know that they vibrate loose. That you periodically have to go in there and tighten the, th the damn thing. So here I pushed it all the way. And then I sat down and did my editing and my rendering and my tweaking here and tweaking there. And my uploading and everything else. And this, this microphone slowly, slowly, and uh, boom right into this 13 inch oscillating fan that fortunately it's in the wire cage but it's brrr, right against the mic and I was, and I'm trying to quickly pull it out and I cut myself on part of the boom apparatus there and it's like oh no oh, fortunately though I'm alright it was traumatic for me when I come back I'll tell you something else that was traumatic for me Maybe you're a college student living in a dorm. Maybe you just live in a small studio apartment. What you need to do is get over to dormco.com slash rob. Once you're there, you'll find all kinds of items specifically designed for folks living in small spaces. That's dormco.com slash rob. Now before I had moved the mic, I had to move that boom around and retighten it and everything. I, I had the mic perfect. Now I'm not so sure. So I'll be, uh, throughout this episode I'll be moving it around a little bit to find the optimum spot for it I have to actually put that C-clamp in a different location so that I can reach it so I can tighten it once in a while it was like against the wall well fuck it as you may know about me I've simplified my life I don't have cable TV any longer I don't have I don't actually have a television set but I get everything I want to need, need from television through the internet thanks to Hulu thanks to iTunes thanks to ABC.com or whatever ComedyCentral.com that's all great and except when the internet goes down well it didn't really go down last night I was watching get this I was actually watching somebody on Facebook sent a link to a YouTube video from the old I Love Lucy show. And so I just clicked through and watched the entire episode and I was going to watch another one. And I watched, they had it up, like I told you yesterday, YouTube only allowed 10 minutes. So it was, each episode was three different videos. I watched two of them and finally the third episode, third, third segment of the episode, it starts buffering and buffering and buffering. And I said, what the fuck is that? I don't get buffering. My download speeds are Fantastic. I shouldn't get that. I don't understand. I never did get to see the finish of that episode. And this is about 1 o'clock in the morning. And I was pissed. I got up. I was laying there watching this. I got up and I tested my speed. Speedtest.net if you ever want to check your own. 0.25 
megabytes per second download. And I'm guaranteed, I'm the lowest I should get is 4.08, and I typically double that. And this was just, I, 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 I was beside myself. I tried to go sleep. I can't go sleep, not knowing that the internet's out. My phone is through there, everything. And I uh, tweeted about it. I put it on Facebook. I, I copied. I, mean, I, did, I had the internet, but it was so slow. But I did all this shit just to get back at them. Five o'clock in the morning, by the little lights on the uh, modem were blinking. And boom, I tested again. 9.17 megabytes per second download. Just That's broadband like there isn't broadband. That's great. Uh, apparently, there was overnight when everybody, except for me, is asleep. They do maintenance on the system. But that's, that, you know, fuck, that's when I'm most creative. It just occurred to me that when that fan, when the fan and the mic and everything that fell over, it also fell against the mixer. The mixer got shoved around, and some of the settings are not where they were. So the audio quality of my voice is going to be a little bit different. And uh, i, I got to tinker with it until it gets exactly right. The audio is the most important part, in my professional opinion. So I bear with me for that, please. Today is Wednesday, the 4th day of August, 2010. It's a significant day. It's the birthdays of a few people who are important to me. My sister, it's her birthday. My niece, not her daughter, but my brother's daughter. It's her birthday. And there's this guy we all kind of know. It's his 49th birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Also today, I'm going to try to get a little comfortable here if I may. Also today... Lindsay Lohan's walking around, well, with an ankle bracelet, I guess, but the uh, California Prop 8 case in front of the federal judge there, today the decision will be handed down. Now what this means is that the lawsuit that was filed against Prop 8, Proposition 8, if you remember, forbade the state of California from allowing people of the same sex to marry. Prior to that, for a few months, prior to its passage, for a few months, uh, people in California could marry. Uh, same sex people. And then the populace, and we've been over this before in many of the episodes. Remember, the, check out the episode Mormon, uh, Eight, the Mormon Proposition. The Mormons and everyone else voted against Gay peoples vote against love. And a lawsuit was filed in federal court because civil rights are not an issue that can be man can be determined or should be determined through the ballot box. That's something that the legislature or the courts decide. If the people had decided the civil rights things of the sixties, it would never have happened. If the people had decided to, to desegregate the schools, it would never have happened. The people are always behind. And that's what this lawsuit is supposed to settle. But it won't settle today because whatever the, whatever the decision that's, that's laid down, it will be appealed. But this is very interesting and I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a, probably about 12 hours from as I speak now. In fact, you probably already know what, they, what the court decided, what the judge decided before you even see this podcast. <sighs> what to say. And finally, I have a, f a little follow-up to the, uh, if I can find it here, to the uh, boycott target issue that we discussed a little bit yesterday. It'll be Sunday, August 15th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, it doesn't tell me what time zones, but maybe I guess it must be your local time zone. And here's uh, the message I have. It says, we are encouraging people to demonstrate in front of their local Target stores to continue to send the message that their recent donation to Tom Emmer was a slap in the face to not only the LGBT community, but those that value equality. Stop spending at Target and let others know too. Email targetprotestday 
at gmail.com for more information. Briefly, it says Tom Emmer supports slash believes a co- in a constitutional ban on gay marriage, declares health care reform unconstitutional, declares that minimum wage service workers who get tips should work for less wage, and is associated with Christian extremists that call for the execution of GLBT people. The actual donations were made to an organization called Minnesota Forward, or was it Forward Minnesota? And um, Target made $100,000 cash, $50,000 in-kind contribution. Best Buy made $100,000 in cash. And that's a political action committee that not only supports this Tom Emmer guy, but I guess it's like it's about five candidates that they are supporting. And I understand that two of them are Democrats. So I, I, it's a conundrum. It's a real conundrum. Now, my personal situation, at 11 a.m. on a Sunday morning after I've worked all Saturday night and I only get home at 8 o'clock in the morning, I, 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 can't, I can't be a target at 11. But it seems to me that that's the prime time. The target circulator was just in the morning paper. That's when all, families all across America are headed off to Target to buy what's in that circular. And what could be a better time to actually educate them, teach them, protest in front of them, make them cross the picket line. But I, so I, I, I support that effort. But damn it, I still have the same conundrum I had personally. I can't really wholeheartedly support this other than to let you know and let you make your own decisions. I guess the big problem I have about boycotting Target is that it's going to cost me money that I can't afford to lose by having to buy my wares. This, this beautiful big grocery department in my newest Target. I can't afford to buy the items, the same items, elsewhere for more. Couple that with the fact that my customers in the bar work there. If they can't, if, if people aren't shopping at Target, they ain't going to be working there very long. So for all the gay people who I know who work at Target, I don't want to see them lose. So that's, that's why this is such a difficult, difficult thing. Okay, now next time we get together with you, I'm going to talk about the decision that the, that the judge handed down with Proposition 8. I'm going to talk a little bit about what is going on with Cloris Leachman and does she really hate Betty White? And then I'm going to talk a little bit about another podcast, another podcast here from Chicago that if you don't listen to it now, I'm going to tell you about it. And their interview with one diva by the name of Carol Channing. But for now, That's all I'm going to say.